Hey, what's going on YouTube? Ryland here in the garage gym. And today I'm just gonna give you a quick overview on a couple of bars I bought from a company called Power Systems. All right, stay tuned. Hey, what's going on? And welcome back. Uh, camera's kind of at an angle, but I think it's fine. So I bought a couple of bars here from a company called Power Systems. They're very unique bars. The company I am not super familiar with, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not an affiliate, I'm not saying to buy them or anything like that. I'm just saying I found these bars are kind of in unique bars. And we'll start with the one down below right here. This guy is, super fat. So I have a axle bar from Titan that's pretty fat, but it's not that it's not as fat as this thing is. And this is knurled and the knurling on this is legit. So I am super impressed with when this showed up. This little shorty bar here is really cool. I think it was on sale for $90. And that's really cool considering that it comes shipped. It has standard collars on it. It's very short. That's the one caveat to it. It'll rack on a, a rep rack because it is 48, I think it's 48 inches wide. And of course the rep rack is around 40, it's 47 inches wide. So that is why this will work on there. But it racks, not your traditional way, it racks on the outer edge. And it's just not something that you're gonna use for bench press or anything like that. But I've been using it for overhead press and doing like um, Roman, uh, Roman deadlifts, um, a lot of back work, arms, that type of thing. It's just a really cool bar to have for doing grip work, being that it is a full like two inch thick uh, bar. The knurling is very, very impressive for your standard generic, you know, uh, import type knurling. These are import bars. I believe they're made in China and imported in. Both of these you can find on Amazon or you can buy directly through the company Power Systems. And this one here I got from Power Systems on sale for 90 bucks. And this one here is a 32 millimeter bar, which is my favorite for bench. And this is a, a bar that I use now for, for when I'm gonna have a PR day on bench. I just love doing bench work with a thicker diameter bar. It just feels better on the wrist to me. I have been using my um, squat bar from Rogue. It has great knurling on that Rogue bar, but because it's so long, it's just not great for doing bench work. I found this guy here on Amazon. It was on sale for around just under $200 shipped. And regular retail, I believe on this bar is around 365. And I have to say it's a really nice bar. The bearings on it are super high quality. They spin very well. They're more of an Olympic style bearing. Obviously they're a ball bearing or needle bearing instead of a, um, a bushing. So. It's kind of an interesting bar. It's not your traditional power bar, even though they call it a power bar. A power bar would generally have bushing sleeves instead of the bearing sleeves. So if that's something that bothers you, definitely don't buy this bar. However, I don't find that to be a huge issue for myself. It only has the power lifting knurling marks. So there's a lot of interesting things going on. It does not have center knurl. However, the knurling does seem to come in more than on your standard um, barbell. Uh, one other thing about it is it's coated in black oxide and that's a similar coating to what you're gonna find from companies like Kabuki. The coating on it is really nice. It's very uniform. It shows the oil in your skin, that type of thing, but you can easily clean that off. I really like the finish on the bar. The black oxide looks awesome on it. The sleeves, they're nice. They're not bad. They're not super long, but um, they work good for, for what I'm doing in my weights. Um, one other thing about it is, oh, talk about the knurling. The knurling is a disappointment to me. I would have hoped on this bar, being it's almost my dream bar in terms of the 32 millimeter diameter, 
I would have hoped for more knurling or more aggressive knurling. The knurling's not bad. It's, it's a lot blockier and bigger in terms of the actual knurl itself. It's very, very clean knurling. It's some of the cleanest I've ever seen. So the machine work is done very nicely, but for some reason they made it quite passive. An example is the knurling on their, their fat bar down here, this axle bar is more aggressive than the knurling on this one by a little bit. So, you know, I think we get spoiled with really good knurling now on uh, some of the power bars that we buy. So everything to me is, <laughs> there's a standard and it's like the Rogue power bar or above that, which would be something like the Bear Steel Equipment Iron Skull bar, which is the most aggressive knurling I have in the gym. And then when you go to something like this, which is more like an Ohio bar knurling, it always feels like it's not enough, um, but it works well. It's something you might have to use a little bit of chalk with or something like that, but having that 32 diameter shaft is really nice. So today I just wanted to give you guys a little overview on these two bars. They're very unique bars. I haven't seen any information on YouTube about them. Um, so just wanted to share that with you guys. I'm still using this one for bench quite a bit and I still will. And um, we'll kind of see what happens with that. But uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the quick little uh, uh, review on these bars, if you could say it. And um, yeah, the new company or a company that I haven't heard of called Power Systems. Um, so yeah, check it out. And uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate all the support. See you later.